Hey there, loyal subscribers. I'm back with another X and Y battle. I say loyal subscribers because you have to have been pretty loyal uh, to have stuck with me these past few months because, you know, I haven't been doing too well in X and Y. X and Y have not been treating me well. Through a combination of bad plays, poor team building, and downright hacks, I've won, like, what, one in the last eight battles? That's just pathetic. So, uh, I wanted to have no more of that. So here I've got a little cup battle, but you notice I'm not using my regular little cup team. I'm using my Gen 5 little cup meet team that I made just at the end of um, Gen 5 and only got one battle before I switched to Gen 6. Uh, the reason for that is that this team actually does well. It's sad and pathetic, but yes, uh, with the recent bans, Gen 5 Little Cup and Gen 6 Little Cup are basically the same. You know, Gen 6 Little Cup has a few more threats, there's Berry Juice involved, but really most teams that do well in Gen 5 Little Cup also do well in Gen 6. And that's a sad state of affairs. So here we both lead off with our Mind Foos. Uh, my, so this is the exact same Little Cup team with one teensy, wincy, itsy, bitsy exception that I'll get to uh, in a minute. Uh, so he, I think he might be Scarfed, um, because he didn't go for the fake out first turn, but he outsped on the second, although those, those could both just be uh, speed ties. So that's the difference. I carry knockoff instead of payback on my mind food, because why would you carry payback in this day and age? Some people still insist on carrying um, Stone Edge, but I, I don't really see the point in that. I really don't. So... So he's, uh, you know, so Bronzor used to be a special, uh, an amazing wall in Little Cup. Now with uh, with uh, Steel types nerf no longer resisting Ghost and Dark, I don't think it's nearly as good. So I go ahead and send out my um, my Pharaoh Seed here. Just go ahead and set up the rocks. He doesn't have a defogger, but he might. He does have a spinner, but spinning is harder than defogging. Uh, so I'm just gonna have to play it conservatively. Obviously not gonna want to stay in on a crow gunk. So I got into Corrin Halfhand, my Murkrow. Love this guy. Uh, it's the Prankster set, not the Insomnia set. I don't need a Spore Blocker because I have two grass, three grass types on this team. Now if, he, if anyone goes for Hypnosis, then that's a different matter, but why are you going for Hypnosis? If you're going for Hypnosis, you deserve to pay and suffer. Uh, anyway, go for the sub here against his Chin Chow. Obviously, the, the Chin Chow switch was obvious. I just I did want to scout out just in case he made a stupid play. Here, I just go for the Roost, see what he's going to do. Uh, I, I mean, I'm behind a sub. There's no point in me doing anything else. So he goes ahead and Volt switches out. That's fine. I don't mind. Uh, Corrin's sub is broken, but Corrin is also back up to basically full health. So good situation for me. I am kind of debating trying to put a spinner on this team because, uh, you know, I do have two Pokemon on this team that are weak to rocks. Uh, here he fakes out with his... He fakes out, and I don't mind. Uh, it's not really going to do much damage. I am going to go for the Drill Pack. It doesn't take him out. I was surprised there. I really was expecting him to take me out. Uh, he goes for the Taunt here. Not sure why, um, but he, uh, he's going to switch out. Uh, oh, okay, I'm a, it makes sense why he taunt. I'm the Prankster set, but still, uh, I don't know. Uh, point of stones go, uh, uh, dig into Chinchow, I go for the drill pack, and doesn't really do much, that's okay. Uh, gonna switch out, I am still at basically full health, so that's 100% A-OK. -okay. I go out into Cuddle Dump, who is a 100% counter for Chinchow, assuming Chinchow doesn't carry Hidden Power Fire, but I have never seen a Chinchow carry Hidden Power Fire. Here he's gonna go for his most powerful move, which is Hydro Pump, and it does nothing. <laughs> it does nothing. Uh, here he's gonna switch out, um, makes sense. Why wouldn't you switch out? And if I was smart here, I went for the Leech Seed. Not worth setting up multiple layers of spikes or of hazards when you still got a spin out on this team. That would be really dumb. So uh, I go for the Leech Seed. I get the Leech Seed. That is glorious and wonderful and all things wonderful. And I'm going to get the KO with the Leech Seed. So his Krogunk is going to go down. So yay! Uh, Leech Seed KO. Yeah, this team is really evil and really wonderful and really amazing, and I love it. So, here he goes out into his Mind Foo. I think if I'm smart, I go for the Protect. And indeed, I was smart here. I was not making stupid plays. Go for the Protect, see what it does. He goes for the Drain Punch. Probably not the Scarf set then, although maybe he is. I don't Figure it's safe to go out into Minimus, my uh, focus. I love, I love Minimus. Uh, he's just, oh, you're, you're doing adorable. 
uh, obviously can take the drain punch. Uh, not going to do anything. Not going to do anything at all. And this is the point where I, well, I mean, he's going to, he should switch out here no matter what. Maybe he'll go for knockoff. Uh, I'm thinking he's probably scarfed based on how he's playing with it. So um, he goes now out into his bronze orc. He's got no grass types on his team. So that's one one thing I will say that you really should make sure you have a grass type on your team and uh, to block the spores from um, fungus and I guess it's fungus actually. Uh, if if you're trying to translate a Gen Five little cup team to Gen Six. So here I go out into 2010. My uh, my snow warning uh, snover. Uh, so snow snow warning has been nerfed and it's only going to last four turns. But the thing is, if you noticed my my last battle, hail hurts me as often as it helps me. So it doesn't really make sense for me to worry about like having long hail or even switching this guy out. Or I might switch this guy out. Maybe I do want someone else in the slot. But the thing is, the typing, the the synergy of Blizzard plus Giga Drain uh, plus I priority Ice Shard makes uh, Obama Snow, not Obama Snow, Snover a really great Pokemon uh, on this team. So here, I think I don't want to reveal that I'm not Scarfed. So usually these guys run Scarfed, more so in Gen 5, and I wanted to think I'm Scarfed, so that's why the switch out, rather than going for the Protect and Scouting, all I was going to do, goes for the U-turn. That's probably a good play. Yeah, the way he's playing with this guy, I'm really thinking Scarfed. So, Scarf Mind Flu I've never found to be particularly effective when you could be going a Violate, but that's just me. So now he goes out into his um, spinner. I've still got my Hazard Setter Upper, my uh, uh, Pharaoh Seed. And so here I'm just going to see what he's going to do. I think, you know, so he goes for the Rapid Spin. He could have gone for the Ice Beam. I think Minimus could have taken that at that range of health, but I'm not positive. And I'm just going to go for the Giga Drain and make him pay for, uh, for doing that. So now he's down to basically no HP. And that's really, really good. Uh, and Hale's buffering, buffering him even lower. And I figured now the, the correct play should be switch out into Fungus to set my rocks back up. Uh, but now that he's uh, gotten rid of the rocks, he's going to take full advantage and go out into his uh, Larvesta. I was kind of amazed when I apparently I've never faced a Larvesta in Little Cup before. I'm really surprised about that. Maybe it was be maybe I faced a Larvesta before. I started doing these layouts, but basically I was looking for the the uh, PNG for the Larvesta icon and I couldn't find it. So here I go for the Protect on the off chance that he's banded, but I don't think he's actually banded. Very few actually run banded. So I go out now into Usain Bolt. Uh, if you go for the U-turn, it's gonna it would do a whole lot of damage. Um, but instead he decides he's just gonna keep going for the Flare Blitzes, and Usain Bolt takes that really well. But here's the thing now. Okay, so the burn, whatever. But he, if he, had he gone for the U-turn, this would pretty much be a dead uh, slowpoke. So that's why I'm considering switching out Usain Bolt, even though it's got the best nickname ever, and it's got Regener, I'm considering switching it out for a Rest Talk Chin Chow. Because Rest Talk Chin Chow would 100% be able to deal with this guy, it would 100% be able to deal with every Murkrow on the face of the Earth. Um, and, you know, I do get recovery. Uh, oh, the other reason, the other really, really good reason is to have a cleric. So I'd be running Scald with Heal Bell rather than Scald and Discharge. You don't want to screw around with being asleep and having Discharge when there are Chin Chows running about. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really considering doing that. I'm playing around on the, uh, on the X and Y Little Cup ladder on Showdown, trying to determine whether it is actually an improvement. And if it is, I'll just go ahead and breed one. Um, breeding in Gen 5, is, or Gen 4 for that matter, is uh, super easy. Really, it's not that hard in Gen 6 either. Um, I could just do it in Gen 6, but I think... No, I can't because of Heal Bell. Need the Gen 5 move tutor. I cannot wait for there to be Gen 6 move tutors that cover everything. That'll make things a lot easier for me. So anyway, I let him take me out with a Flare Blitz. The rocks were back up, and uh, really I didn't have any other use for it. I mean, blocking Chin Chow, yeah, that's nice, but I've got other Pokemon that can deal with Chin Chow. Specifically, uh, Minimus, as long as he doesn't have the Ice Beam, and uh, Snover if he does. So I figure it's a pretty good situation. So now I'm going to switch out into Corn Half Hand, and I'm just going to go for the Drill Pack. And it should be able to take him out, not to do this or anything. And indeed, I do. I take him out, and I do get the Flame Body, and that sucks. I'm. This is another reason why uh, switching out Slowpoke would be nice. If I switched out Slowpoke into Rest Talk Chinchow, what I'd be doing is running the Scald Heal Bell Chinchow, 
and then I'd have a cleric on this team, and then my two physical attackers who mind getting burned would no longer have to worry so much about that. But you know, I mean, lack of auto recovery with regenerator means that it's just not it's just not great. Uh, so yeah, he gets a crit here, but I'm not really doing anything other than just stalling him out with roosts. I need him. I basically need him to take me out. I guess I well, I wasn't gonna go for the T wave. Why would I have come for the T wave? That would have been stupid. Uh, so here, yeah, my health is down to nine. Here, he's almost certainly scarfed because he outsped. So, uh, suck my foot is back up to full HP as I lose Corn Half Hand. Corn Half Hand took one for the team, died like a champ. Uh, I am proud. You know, I'm gonna go to Minimus. Minimus! Minimus! Uh, yeah, I can do that even when I'm sober. That's fine. Uh, and I, I, it's a cute Pokemon. Anyway, just gonna go for the Spore here uh, against his Luma. His Luma's down to practically no HP. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and put it to sleep. Now, uh, interestingly, he could switch out this turn, and uh, the issue is if he switched out... Oh, okay, you know, he's revealed that he has Natural Cure, so I could actually keep going for Spores here. Legally, I could keep going for Spores, because I paralyzed him before, and now he's revealed, since he came in without paralysis, that he has Natural Cure. So legally, doesn't break Sleep Plus if I just keep going for the Spores, and I get someone asleep on the Switch. So now he goes back out into Mindfu. I'm just going to go for the Protect, see what he's going to lock himself into. I don't think during this battle I realized it was actually the... Um, the scarf set, but you know, I know that now. So here just keeps on going for the stone edges. Uh, I take that decently well. I actually took that a lot less decently well than I thought I would because of the crit. But you know, the great thing about this team is it's actually decently resilient to crits. Especially now that crits have been nerfed down to a, a, a 1.5 boost rather than a 2 boost. So yeah. Uh, Chin Chow is now out. I go for the Giga Drain on the Switch and take out the Chin Chow. So the way he switched it in, he probably carried the Ice Beam and thought, I love that low HP to take me out. But haha, ha, didn't I show you? So now all he's got left is Mind Fu, and I've got plenty of Pokemon to deal with Mind Fu. First and foremost is Fungus. So I wasn't at all surprised when he resigned right here. So that is a great game, Devito, or Devin, however you want to be referred to. And folks, I finally won a game. Thank you, God. Ha, 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 ha.